Okay, this year we are going to do the science fair online. So I, this is a template of what you need to fill out for your project. And title of project, and you're going to insert a picture or two. Your name, name of your school, and what grade you're in. Okay, and then the next slide, you're going to state the problem. In this slide, you will write your question that you are trying to scientifically prove. Please remember to end your question with a question mark. You can change the font size, add pictures, change the background. This is just a guideline of what is expected for your online science fair project. On this slide, the uh, third slide, you're going to gather the information. This slide should include any materials you used for your project. You can include pictures, but make sure to make a list as well. Include any references or resources you used. This would be a guide for someone that wants to try your experiment at home. So an example would be Timer Coca-Cola, 16.9 fluid ounces, Diet Coke, 16.9 fluid ounces, baking soda, vinegar, balloons, and then the pictures of it. Okay, you're going to form a hypothesis. For this slide, you will form a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess of what you think will happen in your experiment. You can make your hypothesis before you should make your hypothesis before you conduct your experiment. Can your hypothesis be incorrect? Yes, it can. If your hypothesis is incorrect, it means that your results from your experiment were different than what you thought. Your hypothesis should be stated in a complete sentence. For an example would be, I believe that the Coke and baking soda will keep the balloon inflated the longest. Perform an experiment. Okay, in this slide you're going to insert pictures or a video. If your video is off of a phone, you can download the video into your computer first. If you are borrowing one of my experiments, you can state what date and time you watch the video. You can also add pictures off of the internet that would go with your online experiment. I will add as many experiments as I can for students to make a choice. If you are able to still conduct your experiment, please do so. If you are unable to retrieve your materials for your experiment, you can borrow one of my experiments. Independent variable. This slide will add your independent variable. An independent variable is what is being manipulated or changed in your experiment. So an example, which liquid will react the fastest to Mentos candy, Sprite, or 7-Up? The independent variable is the liquid. Dependent variable. This slide, you will add your dependent variable. A dependent variable is what is being scientifically measured in your experiment. An example, which liquid will react the fastest to Mentos candy, Sprite, or 7-Up? The dependent variable is the time. If anyone has questions or you need help deciding what is your dependent variable, please let me know. I can help you. Control variables. For this slide, you will put all the things that stay the same in your experiment. Example, which liquid reacts the fastest to Mentos candy, Sprite, or 7-Up? The control variables are the same amount of liquid, Sprite and 7-Up, both 16.9 fluid ounces, the Mentos candy, two for each bottle, the temperature of the liquid, the level you perform the experiment, meaning you'd have both bottles on the same level. Both bottles should be placed on the same surface, not one on the floor and one on the table. And you're going to analyze your data. This slide you'll use uh, with the information you obtain from doing your experiment. This slide should include charts or a graph. Uh, my results from my experiment, reaction time for Sprite, reaction time for 7-Up, reaction time with Mentos, 3 seconds, 3.5 seconds. Label the time that's important. If it's time, display the results. In this slide, you should display your results. An example, which liquid reacts the fastest to Mentos candy, Sprite or 7-Up? Sprite reacted the fastest. It reacted in 3 seconds compared to 7-Up, 3.5 seconds. My hypothesis was incorrect. I thought 7-Up would react the fastest. 
each slide will be worth 10% of your total grade. There are a total of 10 slides, each worth 10%. So 10 times 10 is 100%. If you need to add slides, feel free to add as many as you want. You'll be graded based upon the completion of the 10 slides I have provided for you. If you are unable to retrieve your materials for your science fair projects, I am including some experiments. You'll be able to fill in the information based off of my experiments. I will label the experiments as such, experiment number one. Your title page will let me know if you did the experiment or if you needed to borrow one of mine. Either way, it's fine. Okay, so then there's some experiments you can watch, even for ideas, okay? And then I left 10 slides blank so that you can fill in your um, science fair experiment. If you have any questions or concerns, just come see me. If you like my channel, please subscribe.